our challenge is a two-part challenge. We have to pour the first layer and then um, embellish it, I believe, with a second either pour or paint. I, I don't have it in front of me, so I'm just doing the first step right now. And what I'm going to try to do is recreate this, this uh, koozie um, that I made. Obviously, this is brushed. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put my paints and I'm going to smash it and then drag with a piece of wax paper. So that's that's the plan. Um, I'm not quite sure. I may just leave this blank down here, what this doesn't cover, uh, and go ahead and make my, my foreground there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna start, hopefully these are loose enough, but I'm gonna, don't mind the flies, because I'm outside today. It's about, I don't know, 80 something degrees, 82. 83 feels really good, and this is kind of too big for my my little uh, room. These are kind of bubbly, I know, because I just mixed them, but so I'm going to just kind of layer in my colors, starting with the darkest, obviously, at the top. I may have to come back and make that a little darker, but that's all right. Oop, you know what I forgot? I was going to put gloss medium on there to help it. But that's all right. I'm not worried about it. I think I need a little more purple. Here. And we'll squish it around. I may need to add more paint once I get it going, too. I'm not sure. So here's my little pinky, which that one had more orange, but it is what it is. Try to mix some of these in here, and hopefully when I squish, they'll blend a little bit. I'm hoping, I'm probably going to have to put purple on the top. I kind of wanted to keep my orange away from the purple because I don't want brown in my sunset. You know what I mean? I almost am afraid to use the orange, <laughs> but that's all right be okay. We'll just kind of keep it down here. I've got some nice pink. Kind of mix in there. I've got this kind of a strange peachy color, which I'm going to put down here. Oh, well, I guess I put a bunch of that. Well, that was not good. This is thinner than I thought it was. And then here's this vanilla e color, which I kind of want down here at the bottom, too. Uh, these are old uh, squeeze containers for, like, the stuff you put in coffee, the, the tasty stuff, caramel, what have you. So I think I need some more pink down here as well. I hate to put some more orange, but let's put a little more red in there. I have some yellow. And I'm probably going to do it right at the end, at the bottom. And more points to get it to, you know, sunsets are not perfect. And that's kind of what I did with the other. So I'm just going to keep adding. I'm going to add more of this darker purple up here at the top. Since that's where my, my darkest, I really want my darkest to be. Alright, are we ready to squish? It's probably not down as far as it needs to be. And I don't know why. Alright, let's stick a little more. A couple of pieces in here. Just kinda. Obviously I have no um, real <laughs> idea of where this is going. And this one, this yellow is pretty thin. I didn't realize I had it so thin. But it's around. Okay, let's try it. Let's take our little piece of this down here and let's lay this on here and squish it around. How about that? Let's see. Pretty much. So it's kind of, I just want to spread them around a little bit. Maybe get them to blend a little bit better than they are. to go. Push it to the end. Basically. 
That mix is good enough. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, lots of yellow coming out. All right. So let's see. Should I pull it or just lift it up? I think I'll lift it. Cross your fingers, folks, that it works out good. All right. Here we go. The pulled off part I actually like better on the wax paper than I do on the thing. Okay, let's pull whoa, this off. And I'm gonna get another piece of wax paper and maybe hey, touch it a little more. See if I can, uh, let's see, I had another piece. Let's get another piece. Kinda cool. Kinda cool. I'm just going to drag it this time though. Let's kind of in the middle here where I got too much orange. Let's kind of put it there. I think I have too much orange here. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to lift it. Oh, maybe pull. Let's pull a little bit. Lift it maybe. Mm -mm. I could better lift it, I think, than I do pull. So let's see. I need to, whoops, and then I made a mess, didn't I? Drag it right over the edge. All right, I think. I don't know that did there, but. Funky, or it's funky, but that's okay. I got parts where I don't have any paint on the canvas, which is kind of weird since I put so much. Maybe there was an air bubble. Okay. Let's see right here, I don't have anything. All right. Can I have to come back? Add a little more paint, but I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to torch it. See, I've got some spots here where I don't have enough paint on, but I think I'm going to let it sit and then come back and do a little more messing once it dries. Kind of, kind of cool. It probably needs more orange. I think what I'm going to do is let it dry and then come back and add a little more of the orangey, the yellowy maybe. I don't know. We shall see.